Hey everybody, I'm down in my, my kind of wood line here uh, on my property and I, I saw some things that I thought would be a perfect, um, do a perfect little video for people that um, are unsure what poison ivy looks like, poison oak and those type of things, how they grow, kind of, kind of, just give a, just a little heads up, you know, it's that time of year, the stuff's growing, uh, if you like to camp or if you have some maybe some wooded area on your property or something just happened to spring up on your property you'll know what to look for and I have some really good examples um, that I thought they were such good examples that I should show it and uh, uh, this is poison ivy uh, but poison oak looks very much very similar sometimes it's hard to tell them apart um, knowing your zone your area kinda I mean this is poison ivy country we have poison oak but not quite as I think it grows a little further north, more prominently. Uh, I'm in mid mid south in Tennessee. So, but anyway, I want to show you guys and study carefully and just look, and and you'll know how to identify poison ivy. Okay, thank you. Okay, the first thing to look for, um, that I think most people have heard, is is three leaves. Uh, is is always a good sign, and and. Uh, um, you know, there's a saying, leaves of three flee or something like that. But uh, that, that's good That's good advice because, there, yes, there are some plants that kind of mimic this. But <clears throat> in an area like this here with a lot of this type of brush and trees and things, um, there's a good chance that it's poison ivy or poison oak. <clears throat> but if you'll notice, okay, there's three leaves. The center leaf is kind of symmetrical. It has some little jagged to the edge and that's not always the case that's the thing about poison ivy it there's there's lots of variations of, of the leaves and things like that so you can't always say oh well it's not jagged it's not poison ivy it, it can very well be poison ivy it depends on the age of the plant the variety whatnot <clears throat> but it, but what's more of a good determinant factor is the side leaves they're always asymmetrical meaning that they don't look exactly the same on each side. Notice how, let me see if I can get in real close. Okay, see this leaf? It, it has kind of a, a smoother side, and then on this side, it has sort of a little more jagged, and then it has this larger, it always has, you know, a lot, most of the time, it has that larger lump. A lot of people call that a mitten. So think of a mitten, you know, you have your thumb, you know, but the other side doesn't. Um, that's a good prime indication of, of uh, poison ivy. And uh, so, look at, and poison oak looks very, very similar. There are some differences you can tell if you really look at it closely. Sometimes the leaves are a little more puffy. Sometimes they have a little more of a, of a rounded jagginess to them. Looks more like an oak leaf, but um, they can look almost like this plant right here and be poison oak as well. Well, it doesn't really matter. They're both just something you don't want to mess with, okay? Um, it will irritate the crap out of you for a long time if you get this on you. And every part of the plant is toxic. I mean, the leaves, the stems, the roots, everything. Um, it's all toxic. Now, and they, here's, here's the thing now, they grow differently in different ways. They can grow as kind of almost like a little vine uh, they can grow in, the, in like an, their own little bush looking thing or, or a tree looking plant but you know they'll still have that leaves of three and the asymmetrical leaves like this they can grow as a vine up a tree which I can show you right here if you look at this tree you can see the see the vines okay and then the leaves leaves of three Here's a good here's a, here's a good one showing that little depression on the side leaves. Um, that one's been damaged. Here's a good one. You know, leaves of three, asymmetrical, meaning they're not the same on each side. It's got kind of a smoother side, and then it's got kind of a lumpy side, uh, and kind of a well, like this one. See how it has a prominent a prominent area right here. Uh, that's poison ivy. <clears throat> and these roots, or excuse me, these stems, I guess you would call them. I gotta watch where I'm stepping because I'm almost stepping into here. Um, 
if you notice, I don't know if my camera's going to close in good or be blurry, but they have roots coming out. They're air roots. They pick up moisture from the air. And anytime that you see, and I'm going to show you a really big one here in a minute, but anytime you see these, these stems going up with these little leaves and they have the little hairy roots on them, <clears throat> that's all that'll hurt you just as well. So if you're grabbing a tree or messing around a tree or tying something off to a tree, uh, be on the lookout for stems that have these roots coming out and then your leaves of three and all that because they can get huge they can and all that that will hurt you just as bad as anything in fact even worse because it it floats off into the air and gets on you or or you can breathe it and uh, and poison ivy to some people is really bad stuff okay so I've shown you too I've shown you some ground plant and I've shown you some stuff growing up a tree let me show you some more now here's a, an example of larger roots going up a tree it's like a vine and look at the hairs on this thing um, watch out for that be very careful don't be tempted to like they can get really big and almost look like a fun play vine that you can pull off the tree and kind of cut or hang from or something <laughs> don't do that you're gonna get so badly infected with this stuff you won't know what to do um, it'll drive you crazy but anyway and they can get really big this is this is fairly good size, but um, they can get twice, two, three times that size. So be on, be on the lookout for the vines because you might not see the leaves coming off of that. They're up in the upper higher in the tree. Um, but uh, you don't want to mess with this vine. You touch this vine or mess with it, you're going to get just as badly intoxicated. <clears throat> um, one other thing, say if you're camping or out, um, don't burn that stuff in the fire either because even when you burn it in the fire um, the smoke um, will get in your lungs and get in your throat and can irritate the crap you could have if you're one of those people that have really bad reactions uh, it could be bad so even be careful burning green stuff make sure not you're not burning, burning poison ivy or oak or something like that um, but I just wanted to go ahead and put this out since you know a lot of people are gearing up and camping and have stuff Maybe you're like me and you have some kind of wooded prop parts of your property or and, and people that just, they're kind of, leaves a three, you know, but I've hoped I showed a little closer what to look out for. Um, and uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.